Yesterday I used the Poco F2 Pro, also known as the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro. I use this phone as an example to show you how to install the Lineage OS custom ROM. In today's video, I'm going to take this a little bit further and show you how to flash both Google Apps as well as Majisk. We're going to be doing this through the Lineage OS recovery. However, if you have a custom recovery like TWRP, then you can also flash the zip files in TWRP as well. To start off, we need to download any zip files that we want to flash to the Lineage OS custom ROM. You can go to Google and do a quick search for Lineage OS G apps. And the first page, the first result should be the official Lineage OS website with a link to multiple Google app packages. I'm going to be using the mind the G apps package as the example here. And since I'm installing it to the Poco F2 Pro, I'm downloading the ARM 64 bit version. If you use open G apps, you can make sure you're downloading it for Android 11 or whichever Android your lineage OS is running. It needs to match the CPU. So again, in this instance, it's 64 bit. And we're going to be downloading the nano version of OpenG apps. Once you have the Google apps package that you want to flash, we're going to need to put that in the same folder as our ADB and fastboot tools on our PC, because we're going to be using the ADB sideload method to install. We can do that by first powering off the smartphone and then manually booting up into recovery mode. Now again, if you have TWRP or another similar custom recovery installed, you can simply tap on install, browse to where you downloaded that Google Apps package, select it, and install it directly from there. Again, since we're using the Lineage OS recovery, we're going to be using the ADB sideload method. So to do that, we're going to tap on apply update, and then apply from ADB. Once we have put the phone into ADB sideload mode, as you can see from the bottom text here. We're then going to connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable and issue that ADB sideload command. You can see here, this is where I downloaded the Mind the G Apps package. I also have a copy of Majisk here as well, and I'm going to be flashing that to the, to the phone. So again, we need to put these zip files in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. If you're not familiar with how to install ADB and Fastboot tools, be sure to look in the video description as I have a separate tutorial specifically for that. Once those files are in the same folder, we can then open up a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal in the same folder. And then we type out the command ADB space sideload space, whatever the file name you want to manually flash. Just like always, we can use the tab button to auto complete so that we can simply just start typing out 
the, the file name and then press tab to auto complete that file name. Once we have all of that typed out, we're just going to press enter on the keyboard. Once we have all of that typed out, we're just going to press enter on the keyboard. You should see the ADB file sending your gapps package to the phone. And then it will install that package as normal. You may get a signature verification failed message on your phone if you do. Just tap on yes to complete the installation. And we're going to be doing the same thing with Majisk. So we're going into ADB sideload mode. We're typing out the command ADB space sideload space. And then we can just start typing out Majisk. And then we just press enter to send this file to the phone. And just so you can see how things work on the phone, we're going to be pressing enter on the keyboard here. It's sending that zip file. We're just going to tap yes on the prompt. And then it's going to install that zip file like normal. Once we see the done message at the bottom, we just tap on the back arrow at the top left. This brings us back to the Lineage OS recovery. And from here, we can simply tap on Reboot System Now to boot us back into Android. And once we're booting back into Android, we can actually unplug this USB cable as it's no longer needed. And we're just going to wait for Lineage OS to boot back up. You can see here now we have the Google Play Store installed because Google Apps are now properly installed. But not only that, we also have Majisk installed. However, like normal, whenever we first install Majisk, there are some additional steps that need to be done. So we're just going to open up the Majisk application. We're going to tap on OK. We're going to let that install. Open up the app. and check and see that we have Majisk properly installed. And now that I've logged into my Google account, we can download a root checker app. And just double check to make sure root has been installed properly. So that is how to flash both a Google Apps package and Majisk to Lineage OS using the Lineage OS recovery. The main things you want to make sure is that you're downloading the Google Apps package that matches your hardware, which means to make sure that you're downloading the Google Apps package for the version of Android you're running, whether that's Android 11 or Android 10 or even Android 9 or 8. And you also want to make sure the Google Apps package is set for your CPU type, whether that's 32-bit, 64-bit, 
x86 